Hey, what is up everybody? This is No One Shall coming at you with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're actually gonna talk about the new research tree, the expansion to the galaxy tree, that one tree that actually was just added and well, people are a little riled up about it and I wanna talk about that before I hop into the video and jump into it. But before we get into all that, don't forget to like, that subscribe, that bell notification, down below and right below that in the see more button in the description come join my discord under that three donation links paypal cash up and venmo don't forget to follow my twitch under that it's going to be a uh link list so it's gonna be a campsite list you can go to all my social media and don't forget to come remember either two five ten or twenty bucks a month all right so i want to go into the new research tree and some of the information behind that tree and there's been kind of upsets about the tree let me see if this will reload um so people are upset because it's going to take blah, blah, blah amount of years. Rev did a video on it and he went ex completely explosive on it and says enough's enough, yada, yada, yada. He went into that thing. Thing people don't realize and people just want to react at point blank range is the fact is the new research tree is, yes, another new currency. As we see, let me go down to it. Another new currency, which is 40 plus, And you have to be earned by completing factual uh, allegiance daily goals claiming the weekly reward which i kind of think is cool seven to get that and you get x per day of the material which is going to be blah 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 uh rhodanium particles and people are like it's gonna take so long it's gonna take this that and that but people don't seem to understand that i've been here almost four years it'll be four years in november and scopely always pre-plans things out they pre-plan things out and it's not like they decided to throw this in the mix right away. This probably planned out six months, nine months, a year ago. For a lot of us, we didn't know or didn't think about it. And they already have timelines of when to increase the progress for these. Or they'll look at community sentiment, feedback, whatever, and then increase ways of getting the rhodium particles, the rhodium alloy, whatever you want to call it. They'll be able to increase it eventually. You, you just got to realize Scopely has plans and it's not like they decided like oh only whales can purchase this only blah 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 can get through this tree no they already have goals of like hey this is how fast you can do it and this is how we're gonna structure to get people quicker a little quicker through it it's just changes over time it could probably be two months six months one year they have plans and I just want to look at, before we get into the this, the Redanium Particles, or the um, Factually just which I think has been a great new add-on. That's where you get the Redanium uh, Particles from. But the thing is, behind it, every seven days, you do it every seven days. It's part of your faction daily, so it's really simple to do, really quick to do. And then you get a possibility of getting more 92 more Redanium and 1,122 Federation or Klingon or Romulan credits, which that's a great bump every week. That's a great addition. So that's about what, 4,000, maybe 5,000 a month extra in uh, faction credits. That's nice. And the uh, thing's really easy to do. But let's hop into the research and look at it now. After I gave you some of my thoughts behind it, and I know people are going to be like, ah, rah, rah, rah. I just. I'm not shilling for Scopely. I'm not defending them. I just know how this works. And I've been here long enough to where it doesn't affect me. and doesn't actually get me angry because I don't think it's a point to get angry at a game. If you're getting angry at a game, you might as well walk away for a bit and breathe because it ain't worth it. Never is. All right, let's go into it. So our first one, we get into the tree, the new tree of 40 plus. I can't see the 50 plus side because, well, I'm not 50 and I'm probably one level away from it. And everyone's going to be like, no one, go to 50. Yeah. Who wants to pay me that 10 grand to get me to 50? <laughs> no. So first one is we get to look at increases cargo capacity, which I love this one. It goes from 10 to 40. Cool. Awesome. And then now we start looking at G4 mining speed increases, which is awesome. We have two new primes, which are prime material one. Cool. Increase your mining rate. Cool. I love that, but I wouldn't buy it personally. Then we have um, increase the ship XP earned. This one is going to be something like I'd say skip always because it ain't worth it. And then we look at there's pure, uh, pure ship advancement, which gets faster to tear up. They should just let you speed up to tear ups. I just say. Then we have Durst extraction, uh, Harrison extraction, and uh, Norell's extraction. So we have increased uh, mining rates for these ships. Awesome. More mining related stuff. All of us, and I know we don't like mining, but yeah. And then we have pure Klingon survey. So this is all server related stuff, which will help your ships in the part cost efficiency for the parts, which will make it a little cheaper on parts, which, eh, whatever. Then we have Klingon Battleship, Federation Interceptor, and Pure Rom, uh, Rom Explorer. So this will make those cheaper for those faction-related ships. 
whatever on that one. This one I'm kind of looking forward to doing is increasing crit damage for against four muscles. This one I want because we start 15, get 50, increase your crit damage. It means you can take more hostile swarm on. Awesome. Then we have Riker's Fist, which is just a point blank, increases 7% of your officer stats, another officer defense, uh, officer health. I love how they're in this area. They're not going to really hurt much because some other players don't have the secondary prime or the first prime so this gives you a little boost for those officers which i do like um then we have some uh increases health of officers cool then we have more concealment related stuff so we have stealth core which i thought we were done with this stealth one and everything but they decided to add more into it which increases the cloak and duration of all ships which i do like cool and then we have Regan's Concealment, which is another mitigation one. Cool. Then we have, where's Concealed Attack at? Concealed Attack is right there. Okay, cool. That's how you get it. And let's go back down. So we were looking right around, uh, right here. So we are looking right here. We have more uh, cloaking related stuff. Then this is one I kind of really like is um, Interceptor Slapping Power, which increases the piercing 55% for interceptors. And then we have another one for piercing for explorers of about 55% and another battleship for 55%. Cool. Then now we're looking at uh, uh, King's Honor, Pike's Prestige, and Rakar's Renown. So these are all faction increases, which I'm all for faction increases, even though they start to require that kind of stuff uh, on common G4, whatever. But it increases it, and the max you can get is up 50% more, which to me, all power to it, where you can increase it and be able to get more out of it for your faction dailies, your faction, or your faction um, from hostiles. I love it. I love that one. Gain and lost. I love those ones because they increase it. As you see, there is a number for it. You'd have three, uh, 300,000 rep to be able to get their faction rep to get there. Sucks, but... It is what it is. As you see, I have it here and I have it here. I just don't have it on uh, Rakar's Renown. Well, 300 million. Uh, pure Klingon Explorer parts. So this the cost efficient for parts on the core uh, components, Explorer parts. I'm not really a big fan of just decreasing the parts that are required on it. Never been a big fan of that if you should research them more for Tritanium and your pures on your materials. Um, then we have another stealth related one. Increases damage against Klingon ships called Cloaked. Then we have a Romulan one. Then we have a Federation one. This is the first Federation one that's in there that's related to it. Increases damage against Federation ships while Cloaked. So this is a Federation related one. Um, then we have Survey Warp Overclocks, which is an increase of your speed of your survey, which I think they should add another warp speed or warp distance one, in my opinion. Um, then we have all these overclocks. And then we have your uh, Scream Interceptor, which is 10% to players crit. And that would apply to all three down, which is about normal. Um, then we have uh, Montgomery Mend, which is increased repair speeds. Of course, uh, repair speeds do get bad. I've seen ones where it was a day. Or for my uh, Coronar, it's about 12 hours to get that repair one. And I don't have all the repair research done in that one. But yeah, then we have Orlops Attack, which is a base 10%. Uh, officer, these are all officer related ones, which I'm down for more officer ones. But that's when they're on the below deck of ship. So you'll just see a power increase while having one ship, which I'm down for. And then we have Fortified Station, which is going to look at um, increasing the whole healthier defense platforms. So it's going to be able to take a little more damage for my platform. Gives them more shield health to stay alive a little longer. Then we have Enhanced Station Weaponry. Increases damage when defending a station. 20% base buff on it. Cool. Awesome. Then we look at um, Pure. There's some more part-related ones. So it looks like Scopely's focusing on this tree of G4 parts, ship parts to just lessen them to help you level up quicker, which I'm, um, like I said, a more fan of pure Tritaniums and base resources and major ones. Um, then we have, I think this one is Ops 50, yeah. So this is the last one in my tree that I can see right now, increases the cargo size for each ship. So in my opinion, this tree is one of those ones of, you can just putter along and go at it. There's nothing really like amazing in this tree that like you have to do. For me personally, I'm just gonna be looking for, the swarm one, the crits for swarm, which is awesome. Um, then we are new primes, which they're primes. Uh, these are the ones I'm looking at is the swarm, Riker's fist, Jirax, uh, stay, stagem, stay, stagem, the bones boost. Those are the ones I'm looking for. And then maybe some mining related stuff, but 
that's about it. It's not an amazing tree. It's not a cool tree. It's just a tree that we have a little more expandability on and a new material to go through it, which I'm not really caring. I'm glad they added more cloaking related stuff. Kind of surprised they actually added to the game. Look to do. All right, guys, don't forget to like that subscribe that bell notification down below. Remember below that and let's see more. Come join my discord under that. Is going to be a some uh, donations to PayPal, Cash App, and a Venmo. Under that is going to be a campsite link, which gives you all access to all my social medias. Then we have a Twitch. Don't forget to follow that. And don't forget to become a member for either two, five, ten, or twenty bucks a month. All right, guys. It is No One Shaw signing off. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.